Hey guys, welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play with Freilioke. Um, I am Freilioke. I, I hope I'm Freilioke. Uh, either that or I'm wearing the wrong underwear. Ha, 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 bad joke. Uh, anyway, um, right now it's night time. Our first night. Um, we're pretty safe in here. As you can see, it's really dark and you probably can't really see much on your screen. I'm sorry. That's just what night is without any light. Uh, I, I couldn't find any coal to make a torch. So I just kind of wanted to show you what else you can do here uh, with the wood that we have. Um, this is still going to be my little home, so I'm going to uh, to actually move my workbench, and then we're going to make a chest. Let me move my workbench uh, over here. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, uh, a chest that you can store stuff in. So... Uh, Let's right click on our workbench. There we go. We have our six crafting, our nine crafting squares. Let's make a, a chest. Now, a chest has sides on all sides of it, uh, like wood on all sides of it, and nothing in the middle because you want to put something in the middle. So recreate that. So we're going to put one here, 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 all the way around, and leave a blank in the middle. See, that makes a chest. Now I'm going to make another one. That way I can show you what this does. Alright, now what this does, you can't pick it up and actually carry stuff with you like it's a bag or something. So, uh, we're going to put one down, and what happens when you use it, so you have basically a second inventory that you can store here. Now, if you need more space, you could of course build as many chests as you want, but if you build one directly next to it, it'll double the size. Now, that's nice for just neat storage right there. Now you cannot build three next to each other. It will not even allow it. So that's why I usually build something in between it, like a workbench or a furnace. Um, let's go ahead and build us a furnace. Uh, this is what you'll use coal with to smelt down iron, gold, uh, stone to make, you know, better quality stone, your cobblestone to make stone, um, or sand to make glass, etc, etc. It really does have a lot of uses. Um, so... Let's go ahead and make that. I am going to mine this area out right here real quick so that we can make that. Alrighty. Okay, now, here's how you make it. Uh, let's go back over to our crafting bench. Alright, it may take stone. So, again, it has uh, stone on all sides of it, nothing in the middle. That way you can place the thing in the middle to be smelted down. And there's a furnace. Let's go ahead and toss that right on in here. There you go. So then you can put coal at the bottom here, and then an item at the top. I'll show that in a future video, hopefully the next video or, or something, if I can find some coal. Um, anyway, and you place the item in the bottom, and uh, or you know, the item you want to smelt down in the top, and the coal in the bottom. These little flames here will light up and degrade over time. Um, one coal will make approximately eight items. Uh, and then the items will be right here, your finished product. Hear that sound? That's the sound of baddies. Now, I am not going to go out there and get myself killed immediately. Um, although I could show you what it's all about. As a matter of fact, you know what, I think I will. So let me go ahead and, uh, and do that. I'll bring my pickaxe with me here so that I can get out. Alright, now there are different creatures. Before I go out there, I'll explain them real quick. Uh, the creatures that you can encounter... Uh, great, I didn't think about this here. I still have stuff on me. When you die, all your stuff will drop, and it'll remain there for a couple minutes, but then it will disappear over time. So you don't want to uh, bring too much with you if you think you're going to die. Um, so, alright, let's put some of this in here. You know, let's put it all in there. Alright. So the different creatures there are, there's creepers, they're probably the most dangerous. Uh, they're little green looking things, uh, they jump a lot, just as everything does. And if it gets within one square of you, it will explode one second later. Uh, it'll start to flash and then it'll explode and just destroy everything around it, including cobblestone. The only thing that can really withstand it is regular stone here. Um, so your cobblestone, I'm sorry to say, will get blown up, not as badly as dirt and sand and gravel would but still pretty bad. Uh, the other creatures are zombies. Um, they're really easy to handle. 
skeletons, they're bad aims, they shoot with arrows, and they're just bad aims, so you should be able to take them out fairly easily. And then there are, uh, what do you call them here, uh, spiders. They jump a lot, they do tend to hurt if they get to you, but they're not too hard to handle. So, so we can actually do this. Let's make a stone sword real quick. To make a stone sword, you put a handle in there, and then you make your thing with uh, two cobblestone up here just like this. And, uh, and then we will store these here. Alright, now we've got our sword. And you just swing at it and that'll hit him. Alright, so let's break through here. And we will handle whatever's out here. Be careful, they can spawn anywhere, including on top. And it is really dark, so it's hard to see. There's a creeper down there, if you can see him jumping. Oh, oh and a spider. Oh, uh, where is the skelly? Right here. Oh, that ain't good enough to him. Just even jumping like that'll work. And just keep swinging at him until he's dead. He came out of that cave, that can be dangerous. Um... I will show you, I guess, what a... Oh, let me put this here just so nothing can go in there. I'll show you basically what a creeper will do. Let's see if he gets next to you. He will explode. Oh, unless you get out of there in time. Bam, there you go. See, he explodes and just destroys things. Let me go ahead and pick this up. So, we sur there's a zombie, by the way. Uh, so there we go. We survived our first night. Um, moon's going down, sun's coming up. So I will retire back to the uh, good old cave, and we will figure out what to do in this next day. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to see more on our Let's Play with uh, Minecraft with Oak.